This disabled gaming reviews Let's Plays best enjoyed in front of a computer monitor and or tablet with the speakers on. And to any epileptics out there, please watch this in a well-lit environment to reduce the risk of any potential seizures. This DGR Police Party is also unofficially sponsored by Boom and Mini Boom in Air. So Boom and Mini Boom are a geek boutique where if you're looking for things like Dragon Ball mugs, alien figurines, etc, etc, definitely check them out. Did I also mention that they're an official Warhammer retailer, so if you're looking for extra fire team squads to add to your Tau army, definitely check them out. They are located opposite Airbus Station. Look out for the Deadpool statue. Links to Boom and Mini Boom's Facebook page is in the video's description below. Now with all that aside, please enjoy the video. Welcome to 1992 Fetter of Disabled Gaming Reviews here. Welcome to part 2 of my Let's Play of Max Payne for the PC. Um, I'm supposed to be doing, not to be doing this regularly, but you know, this game is an excellent game. So, last time we were hit by the pains really started when we were hit with a double whammy of deaths. First off, was three years prior to the events of this game, was, um, was the murder of Max's wife. So, um, which led him to going undercover, trying to get this to the source of an unknown designer drug, Valkyr, with a street name V. But fortunately, the investigation took a turn for the worse when, um, when DEA Special Agent Alex Balder and one of Max's friends got gunned down during a meetup in Roscoe Railways. Roscoe Street subway station. But fortunately, due to the um, clothes in which the unknown, the unknown assailant was wearing, Max was playing for it. So now, Max really has nothing to lose. So the last time we, went, we got off was Max when he was um, going for a run down one of one of Jack Lapino's run down tenement, tenement blocks. So, um, so again, no miles. No miles here. Um, again, when because he's on the other side of the Atlantic right now, but I've received a message um, from a person who says he's looking forward to seeing me with the letters I and X which is the number 9 in Roman numerals. Guys, again with the number 9. So, we'll find out what was going on in due time. Sure! Yeah, we got him, Dad! Sadly enough, the last oh, one, the first one, when I tried to double that to 60, unfortunately, that was a big lag spike. For, for a few seconds there, I thought the game was crashing. Sorry, but that was necessary. The hooker had left her diary on the table. The diary belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. The read would have made a vice cop blush. I had talks with the mystery hag over the phone again. Sent to the latest one-eyed Alfred tape. As long as the hag keeps paying for the tapes, the old man could come every day for all I care. She had a nice sideline making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. They would get her killed if her V-fix for the day didn't do it first. That's where it 
his feet. Unfortunately, this le level is like a labyrinth. Charming. That seems to be a recording of some form of recording studio. Hey, uh So we are now through the um for this particular part with 41 minutes and 47 seconds on the clock. So yeah, I'm making incredibly good progress. So I'm afraid um so I'm afraid it looks as though the footage will have the old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Lapino's hotel. Winter storm warning is in effect in the whole tri-state area, as both freezing rain and heavy snowfall continue. Many roadways are already closed, and people are advised to stay indoors. The severe blizzard has ravaged New York for three days now, with no end in sight. We'd been snowed from the start in the Valkyr case, and the forecast said there was plenty more where that had come from. But the snowbound city was on my side. Less chance of innocent bystanders getting caught in the crossfire. Exhibit number one, a newspaper. A dead man tied to a chair lay on the boiler room floor. Captain Baseball Bat Boy has an unbeatable track record in superhero death matches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but a six pack of root beer gets me every time. The murder weapon was a baseball bat, now lying in a pool of drying blood next to a newspaper folded open on a Captain Baseball Bat Boy comic strip. Take vampire movies. Why are they always set in L.A. or Mexico? What? Ah! Ah! with the guns. Trust me, you don't want to piss me where they are. Gentlemen, let's do business. Green for green. A lifetime ago, this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. 
The transparent cylinders glowed green, full of Valkyr. It was dirty money. There was a key on the table. switchboard was still in use. There was an old telephone switchboard in the back room of the reception area, the kind that made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines, the blood veins of New York. Right now there was a different set of moans and groans going on. Boss, I got need it. This makes pain. It came, started capitals. He killed. Uh... Are you freaking kidding me? It's just one lousy cop. You better be freaking kidding me. Whack him. What's the freaking problem? Hello? Answer me. Hello? The word was out. A deadly virus released into the city's corrupt circulatory system. Something wicked this way comes. Max Payne at large. Frame for matter, he really had nothing to lose.
Okay, so that's me third this part with 33 minutes and 29 seconds on the clock. Turn around, walk away, blow town. That would have been the smart thing to do. Guess I wasn't that smart. Lupino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze. A liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me, but they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were going to get real trigger happy about it. I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the fly in Don Punchinello's soup. The ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be ticking inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. The headlines were a depressing read. The headlines were screaming bloody murder. The storm was a screaming duet with the approaching prowl car sirens. It was all a scream when you were down for the count and wanted for murder. The whole building was rigged with explosives. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. The headlines were a depressing read. Bear in mind, though, if, if we've encountered that, that particular graphic noise. <laughs> Not exactly on my side right now. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover.
The headlines were a depressing read. Rigged with well, explosives. That's one way to be approach the problem, I guess. I think I died. I think I died. Give me a sense of this, Nick Bastard. <laughs> I'm gonna go to hell for that guy. Explosives. beaten up phone in the entrance hall was ringing. It could have been just a junkie in need of a fix, but it turned out to be something more sinister than that. Am I speaking to Mr. Payne? Who wants to know? My name is Alfred Wooden. You must hurry. The police are on their way. Tell me something I don't know. They know you're there. How? And what's it to you? I will contact you again. The cops arrived, sirens singing in the off-key harmony of a manic depressive choir. I had a few minutes while the SWAT team would go through their usual routine. By the time they busted in, I needed to be long gone. Max Payne, this is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. Explosives. Someone had left a letter on the counter. 
Suddenly it all made sense. The bombs, the Russian mob boss making an appearance in person. Gogniti was his usual self. All talk and no walk. After I hit, the Russian has only a couple of guns left and they can be bought. There's no freaking way he has the guts to try anything after that. As it turned out, the Russian had plenty of guts. One thing he could count on, you push a man too far and sooner or later he'd start pushing back. Who is he on the shelf? Put your hands where I can see him. Don't make us come and get you. Put your hands where I can see him. Put your hands where I can see him. Damn! Oh. That was my cue to leave. All right, I see. So you want to <laughs> If that's what I want, ah! take it. Ah! See, I take it on your mate as well. Aims of a storm um, You know what? Let's pull out the deagle. Yes, I'm dancing this. Me, and my friend, open rack after, and I was dancing this thing. <laughs> it was just that's just, just this woman. Oh my god. How could I how could I be so fluent stupid?
right. I was right all along. So that is us on another chapter. The bombs had destroyed all the stairs up to Lupino's office. The alternate route led there by way of adjoining rooftops. Okay. So it's I never been this cold. Place. Never ever. It's like the sky's falling. Yes, sir. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I don't feel fine. I don't feel anything. To get to the roof, I'd need to get to the elevator through the locked door up ahead. Pizza delivery. Never seen you before. Buzz off, Joker. this cold never ever it's like the sky's falling yes sir it's the end of the world as we know it. man i don't feel fine i don't feel anything not a thing to get to the roof i'd need to get to the elevator through the locked door up ahead pizza delivery never seen you before buzz off joker No, don't shoot. I, I... You know the clowns at the laundry? Me? No. You're no good to me then. What? No, no, no. The laundry, yeah. I know him, yeah. Get me in there. 
Okay, okay, okay. Me, open up. Let me in quick. Not so fast. The password. John Who. Come on. Okay, John Who. All right. Come right in. It's a trap. It's pain. Hey. New York City is in crisis tonight, with reports of Valkyrie-related gang war in the streets of the Bronx. Apparently, Max Payne, wanted for questioning in connection with the slaying of a DEA special agent earlier tonight, is waging a one-man war against his former partners in crime. Among the list of casualties so far are notorious Mafia members Joey and Virgilio Finito, as well as Rico Muerte, himself a fugitive from the law and a suspect for several murders in the Chicago area. The NYPD has been placed on full alert. A citywide APB has been put out on Max Payne. Deputy Chief Jim Bravura has promised to take whatever steps necessary to bring him to justice. What those steps may be remains to be seen. For NYCNN TV News, this is Kira Silver. Yes, yes, I shot your ball of beer. But then again, does that mean, does that give you the authorization to get your guns out? Honestly, no wonder why America is so messed up. unknown. I don't want to go there. It's the last place I'd want to end up. But that's where I always end up anyway. Only, it's not me talking to the pink flamingo, but someone who looks the part down to the finest detail, except that he's evil. I'm hiding in the shadows, watching it all unfold. The flamingo speaks. He can speak here. It says, there's more and more television. That's mirrors are more fun. All these. Oh, 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 oh. And I, not me, but my double, nods and smirks at this like it was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> and it. That is a bit too. It's about this, um, some guy racist or something like that. Schizophrenia. On 
honestly. <coughs> red, blue, or green? It's always red or blue in the movies. So, green? <laughs> Vinny got needy. Just the man I've been killing to see. Pain? Freaking fed! I knew from day one there was something screwy about you. What do you think you're doing? You're a freaking cop. You ain't got squat on us. You can't just come in here waving your peaks like it meant something. Yeah! Oh my god! Oh god, you shot me! Ah! You're dead, Pain! Like, what the hell are you waiting for, you apes? Kill him! Kill him! With pleasure, boss! Gagnini bailed. I made like Chow Yun fat. <laughs> A crumpled letter lay on Gagnini's desk. The letter was addressed to Don Punchinello, but Vinny had never had the nerve to finish it. Jack's gone voodoo! Just the other night, he shot Dino because he wanted to see what his brains looked like splattered on the wall. He's a freaking mad dog. We're running out of men and business fast. Gagnetti had been living in mortal fear of his boss. Jack Lupino was a psycho. Vinny Gogniti was running scared. He could run, but with a bullet in his stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Gogniti would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings.
tell about four minutes to go. What the hell are you standing around here for? They're bombing us. What are you doing? You're doing nothing. Letter lay on Gagnini's death. Vinny Gagnini was running scared. He could run, but with a bullet in his stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Gagnini would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. Gagnini hitched a ride. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. Okay. We're on to chapter 7. This was my second train ride of the night. The way it started didn't promise anything better than the last one. Freezing wind tearing at my face like sandpaper and razors. Ice hard and slick under my hands and feet. And somewhere in the background the wail of sirens. The city howling after me. New York sped by and fast forward. Dark rooftop water towers and a dead forest of antennas and chimneys, all a blur. When the train he was riding slowed down, Gagnini made his move.
I'll see you guys next time when we'll be able to hunt down Jack and Billy Cognitive. So until then, I'll see you then.